Hey folks, Eric is a whatever guy because it really is whatever me. And do you folks want to know about this new operation over in Mobile County where they're going to uh, stop public smoking of marijuana? You guys stick around, man, and we'll talk about that. As you guys know, my name is Eric. I am the whatever guy. You can shoot videos a couple days a week, basically keeping you guys updated in the world. Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, hemp, cannabis, just what's going on around. I'm not going to lie to you about it, guys. It's Tuesday morning. Uh, been sitting here bullshitting around on Wednesday morning, actually, is what it is. Either way, uh, whatever whatever morning it is, I'm, I'm lost uh, all the way around. I think it's Tuesday morning. Either way, man, I've been running my nights over at the new store over in Katoma. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but we've opened up a new place over at 416 uh, Highway 29 North in Katoma. And so if you guys wanted some good TEC flour and some good, uh, some good Delta 8 products and stuff like that, you guys stop in there and see us. Uh, but that's what I've been doing lately. I've been running my nights over there. And I actually... Uh, for the last three days, I've actually kind of went from from opening to close and haven't had an opportunity to uh, uh, do anything but kind of set the store up and keep track of what's going on over at Boro Hill. So having said that, man, it's in here bullshit around. I've run across some articles over here. Man, there's a crazy situation going on in Mobile. Like this article that I'm going to flip over to is like six days old. It's over Mobile County, Alabama. For those of you that aren't aware, man, if you've ever been to, to you know Alabama, you guys know that we've got some fucked up laws, fucked up shit. You know, we're probably going to be the last state in the whole United States that will ever legalize marijuana. Obviously, we've got a lot of crazy crap going on with our medical marijuana program. We can't even get that up on the shelf. Uh, but but Mobile has always been a, a kind of a crazy place. I don't know if you guys know, but Mobile... Alabama is kind of the, you know, even though they celebrated over in, over in New Orleans, but Mardi Gras actually, you know, started in, in Mobile, Alabama. That's that's kind of where it started. And so there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in Alabama. You know, I'll tell you guys a crazy story. Like one time, me and my brother are riding around Mobile, smoking weed like everybody else does in Mobile, and we pulled up to a gas station. Uh, this was probably, you know, when I was, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old, but I pulled up to a gas station, uh, and he sits in the truck with the, with the joint lit, and the minute I opened the door, some girl over about two cars over goes, I smell weed! And we were like, whoa. But, but my point is, man it's like everybody in mobile is riding around smoking weed i mean everybody in mobile is riding around smoking dirty they've always smoked out in the open there's always been kind of this unspoken rule you know that that you kind of smoke in public and and so in in certain places that's always been going on and the fact of the matter is is now we've got some sort of outcry so i'm gonna flip over here to this article over here so you guys will be aware of this right here because i don't want anybody getting wrapped up uh in this uh this whole situation over here it says here it says um Marijuana is not legal in Alabama, and sheriff responds to an outcry over people smoking in public. Now, I'm not sure who the outcry would be from. Like, I, they don't they don't specifically say who is out here actually saying, "Hey, man, we're we're smelling you know weed in public, and we want you guys to crack down on it." But apparently. Uh, whatever's going on, they've had enough of it. And so now it's Operation Up in Smoke. I'm not sure how how long Operation Up in Smoke uh, is running, but I know it kicks off Tuesday. And as of a day or two later of that uh, operation starting, I think they had already arrested one or two people. I think one of those people was for trafficking. It's crazy. Like I said, that we're still in a day and age where we are arresting people for, for marijuana. Uh, but like I said, Alabama's probably going to be the last state on the face of the earth that will do it. But you would have to think that in the whole state of Alabama, Mobile would be the one place that you could get away with at uh especially you know around foot wash time and stuff like that but having said that man here we go it says public outcry has prompted the mobile county sheriff's office to launch a new operation targeting the public use of marijuana <clears throat> the sheriff's office said in a release tuesday operation up in smoke kicked off tuesday as msco personnel will be looking for those using marijuana in public or in a vehicle particularly in vehicles in vehicles where children are present the, like okay so particularly in like weren't, weren't they always looking for that like were they always i mean weren't they shouldn't they always be like looking for that i mean like is this something i mean is this something that we've not been looking into in the past apparently uh that you know I, cops ride around all day long that's that's their job that's what they do they're looking in vehicles they're looking at people i mean they 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 basically are staring at everybody that they drive by uh it it, it it appears to me that now all of a sudden we are just now going to start looking for those using marijuana uh in a vehicle where children are present. The open use of marijuana has become common in several public areas throughout Mobile County. Sheriff Paul Birch said in release, we witnessed this during Mardi Gras and see it in at grocery stores and all major shopping centers. The sheriff's office said Wednesday it has received numerous complaints from area residents. If you choose to consume marijuana in the confines of your home and we do not condone that you do, that is a risk you choose to take, the MSCO uh, said. The operation about is about the public outcry of others who do not wish to participate or expose their families to illegal drugs. 
Marijuana is not legal anywhere in the in the state of Alabama and it has not been legalized federally. This purposeful disregard for disobeying the law will not be tolerated in, in Mobile County. Mobile Metro jail records showed that as of late Tuesday afternoon, two people had been arrested by the MSCO, MCSO on marijuana charges, one of the two charges charged with trafficking. Like I, I, apparently there's a bunch of people that, that are that are that are public outcry, as that's that's what they want to call it. Uh they don't name uh you know anybody in here. They don't tell you where you can actually go see. Uh, where these people are, you know, are complaining. Maybe they've got a Facebook page or something like that. Either way, uh, this sounds like some, you know, just a way to slap a Band-Aid on it because there's no way they're going to stop all them homeboys over Mobile uh, County from smoking weed in public. Like, like you pull up to you pull up to public to Walmart in Mobile County, and I promise you, you're going to smell weed. Like this, just it's wide open there. It's always been that way in in Mobile. Like I said, that's where Mar Mardi Gras started. It's crazy that they're going to, you know, sit here and 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 now crack down on this type of thing right here, especially, uh, you know, when they're looking for, especially for people that are smoking with, with children in cars, like that's, that's crazy. Like you should have always been looking for that, but that, that's beside the point. Either way, crazy situation. You guys be aware. And if you guys are having issues over Mobile County, head on over to uh, Escambia County in Florida, man, over in Pensacola and, and see me, man. And I'll get you guys hooked up. All right, folks, whatever I sign it off and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Love it. See ya.